Hello and welcome to Combine Multiple Books and Sheets. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question, how to combine worksheets from different workbooks, but instead of having all the results merged into a single worksheet, how do you keep all the sheets separate in the single combined workbook? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. For this, we're gonna use a VBA macro, and you can copy the VBA code right from the video description. And once you've copied it, we can paste it into the VB editor. There's a couple of ways to open the VB editor, either Alt F11 or by enabling the developer tab in the ribbon. If you haven't enabled the developer tab, it's pretty easy to do so. All we need to do is go to File, Options, then go to Customize Ribbon, and just check Developer. When you click OK, you're gonna have a developer tab in the ribbon. Then you can click Visual Basic. First thing that you wanna do is right click, insert module, and then control V, paste the code. Now we can close the Visual Basic Editor. Now let's test it out. Let's go to view, macros, view macros. Here we can see the macro and we can click run. Now we can browse to the data folder and we click okay. And once the macro completes, we're gonna see that we have a brand new workbook filled with all of the individual worksheets from all of the workbooks in that folder. And let's talk about a couple of different enhancements. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. The next thing we might wanna do is make it easier to launch the macro. So we're gonna add a run button. Go to the developer tab, click insert, go to form controls and click button. Now we can drop it in. And when we do, Excel asks which macro we want to run. We click okay. Now we can give this button a new name. I'm gonna call it run. Now this is the new run button that we can use to run our macro. And once again, we have a new workbook with all the worksheets. And we'll make one more adjustment in the next exercise, exercise three. The base macro asks us to browse. And if that's what we wanna do every time, that's totally cool. However, if we're always going back to the exact same folder, we can actually store the file path right inside the Excel worksheet. What we do is we just type the file path in any cell. Be sure to include the trailing slash. Then we need to name this cell. So what we can do is we can just go to the name box, type in the name, I'm gonna call it path, and be sure to hit enter. And we can confirm that that worked by simply selecting that cell and confirming that our name appears in the name box. Once that's done, we need to modify our macro. Alt F11 to open up the Visual Basic Editor. Currently, the user defines the path through that dialog. What I can do instead is just delete all of this, delete all of this. Here we're just gonna say it's equal to the range that we defined called path. Now let's run the macro. Here I can click run, and this time I don't have to browse to find the folder. And that's how we can use VBA to combine multiple sheets from multiple workbooks. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University.